Many national forests remain closed due to Arizona's wildfires, but thousands are heading to state lakes for the 4th of July weekend. And to ensure everyone has a safe and fun time, officials will be patrolling the state's waterways and roadways. Team 12's Adriana Loya has the details on what you can expect if you plan to head outdoors. Water, sun and fun, the ingredients for many this 4th of July weekend. Going out there, have fun, that's it. Robert Padilla and Junior Angel heading out to Lake Pleasant Saturday morning. Just trying to get, trying to keep cool and stuff, you know, with the seeds. And as thousands ready to enjoy the holiday. Everybody wants to get out. They've been cooped up for quite some time. The Arizona Game and Fish Department heightening enforcement. So we just want to make sure everybody's having fun, but in a safe manner. Officials will be out patrolling the waterways in high numbers, promoting the Operation Dry Water campaign. The goal is to reduce alcohol and drug-related fatalities and accidents. Their advice, have a designated sober driver. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a good time. We're not here to ruin anybody's day, anybody's fun. But we want to make sure everybody does it in a safe manner, that they have all their life jackets when they're on the boat, that they have their type for throwable, and they have their fire extinguisher for their boats. A lot of the laws on the water are similar to DUIs on the road. People can face fines or even get arrested if caught driving a boat while intoxicated. Last year, officers stopped 973 boats during the Operation Dry Water campaign in Arizona, arrested five people, and wrote 97 citations. Life jackets do save lives. That's why it's also important to remember that children, 12 and younger, are required to wear one at all times while on a boat. Officials also urge boaters to have their navigation lights on at night and ask drivers to always be on alert as you never know what is going to happen. You could be the most experienced boater out there, but you can't trust everybody else. In addition to patrolling the waterways, 72 law enforcement agencies are already operating DUI checkpoints across the state. In North Phoenix, Adriana Loya, 12 News.